Hello, ev hello everybody. This is Benny the Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to take an indoor blower motor off of a gas unit and convert it to a fan. Now, this will only work if it is a gas system because it is a 110 volt blower motor here and if it came off of a heat pump or a straight cool then it would be 240 and you would have to wire it directly into your breaker or put a 240 plug and nobody wants that so let's get started here you have your motor it comes over here with your leads to your capacitor all factory your board which would go to your indoor unit which is no longer needed still has the transformer you could take all this off if you needed to. Still has the rails on it. So if you want to mount it somewhere, that's also a viable option. You come over here to your color-coded wires coming out of your unit. And as a rule of thumb, black is going to be high speed. Red is going to be low speed. Blue will be medium high. And most of these motors have yellow for a medium low, but this one appears to have an orange. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that's medium low. You can also look on the side of your motor. It has a data plate and it will tell you which ones control your speeds. But for the time being, we won't need to worry about that. Now your white wire is always going to be your common wire. You will always have this it, this one will generally always hook into your plug. Now for this application, I'm going to use the high speed because it's really fast and I've got mine wired into the black. Now you're gonna to wanna to take an old plug off of anything, electronic, old extension cord, just whatever you can find. I had an old extension cord, home extension cord laying around. So I just robbed it because I really didn't need it anymore. Now when you pull this apart, you're going to have two wires. And it doesn't matter which one you use, they both work exactly the same because it is AC voltage. And on one end, I'm going to hook my white wire and I don't recommend using electrical tape. I would use wire nuts or put a butt splice on it for a little bit more solid connection. But I have a couple more so I swap them around occasionally. So I just have it wired, just have it electrical taped at the moment. And take your other side for your speed. Any one of these four wires for my application will work. Like I said, low, medium high, medium low, and high. Now that we have our motor wired up, we will go ahead and plug it in and just stick it into the plug. And just so you guys can see, runs very well. Now another side note, when you get one of these motors, you might have to blank off the open side of your motor. I'm gonna let this one stop and go ahead and pick it up because you have a big hole. Now in an air conditioning cabinet, it's sealed, it creates static pressure. But on this application, it is open and this will cause the motor to bog down and the fan won't spin as fast and it will also cause your motor to burn up prematurely. So you would want to take a piece of sheet metal or just anything you find and blank this off. Luckily, I just put mine down on the ground and I'll let everyone hear how that sounds when it's getting too much air. You can hear it freewheeling. It's not quite making the same sound. And I'll also 
go ahead and drop it down don't try this at home now it sounds a lot better Run, pulls a lot more air through it and also these motors are very well they are known to run for a long time and give very few problems so more than likely for the life of this fan you'll never have to change this one out hopefully but remember to take the note that a regular unit a heat pump or a straight cool you can't do this because it's 240 volts now if a unit is a gas furnace like this application was then you can simply just pull out the blower motor and hook up your little electrical cord and it will make it run i hope this cleared everything up for anybody wanting to know and please like and subscribe to my channel i hope everybody enjoyed it and there's many more to come thank you very much